Hi, welcome to RC Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about soldering. So, to solder, you'll need a soldering iron, a soldering stand so you don't burn or melt anything else, solder, and some helping hands. So, the helping hands are for as so you can hold the two things that you're going to solder together, so you don't have to use your hands for those. Alright, let's go get soldering. Alright, so right here I'm going to show you how to solder bullet connectors onto an ESC. So these are used to uh, connect your motor to your ESC. So these are the, this is the male bullet connector that's from the motor. And this is the female bullet connector that I'm, I'm going to solder onto the ESC. Okay, so there's two ways to solder it. You can either just put it in here and see the little hole right there. That's to put your soldering iron into. You put that into the hole and then you put the solder onto it to melt it onto the wire. I've never been able to do that because my soldering iron isn't very sharp. The little tip so it can't go in all the way. So what I do is I put the little wire through the little hole and then solder it right there. You can't put heat shrink tubing onto it because it comes out a little, but I don't ever use that. I just use it tape so it doesn't hit the other ones. So what you do is you get a little solder, put it onto your soldering iron, melt just a little bit. The less solder you use, the better the connection will be. And then you just lightly tap it on there, move it around so it gets all over so there's, there's no cold solder joint. And then you just wait a few seconds. Solder doesn't take very long at all to cool down. So once you kind of see it like, kind of like fuzz over so it, it's not as shiny anymore, then you can take it off and you have your solder joint. It'll still be hot for a while, but just yank it a little. It should be strong. And then you just connect it with your motor. And you're done. Okay, so now we will be talking about battery connections and soldering batteries to helicopters and quadcopters. So these two right here, uh, this is a 3.7 volt, 150 milliamp battery, and this is a 3.7 volt, 380 milliamp battery. So they're both 3.7 volt, but this one has a higher milliampage than this one. The milliampage is how much the battery can hold, how much power the battery can hold. So they're both 3.7 volt, which is good because that means you can take this from whatever this was connected to and add this to it, which is a lot higher. So you, uh, this this was connected to a helicopter, and this was connected to my uh, Hubson X4. And so I connected this one to my helicopter, and I'm getting much higher flight times because of the higher milliampage. So I'll show you how to do that. So this is the helicopter, and this is the battery with the cut battery connections. So to cut the battery connections, you never want to cut them both at the same time because you can either shock yourself or blow up the battery. So you always want to do one at a time and keep them the two connections as far away from each other as possible. So I like to start with the ground and then go to the red. So after you're done with that, then you want to twist up the wires so they're nice and nice and uh, nice and small. They're good for soldering to the connections. And so the where I'm going to solder this right there with a little plus sign. That's exactly where I'm going to solder it. Okay. So you get your soldering iron, and when you solder battery connections, you still don't, I mean, you never want to use a lot of solder, but with battery connections, try to use as little as possible. The, the more solder you use, the less battery power uh, you will get out of the battery. Okay, so once you have just the tiniest bit of solder on there, you touch the positive to the positive power connector, and just tap the solder onto it
Okay, and then you just wait till it kind of fuzzes over. It's not as shiny. And there you go. Okay, so here's a cool little trick I found out about RC stuff. So the, if you have like a little LED like this, I found a way to, you can kind of like, kind of like hot wiring a car. So if your power switch isn't working on your helicopter or something, just do this. So the ground on the battery for a helicopter is always connected. All the connections for a ground is connected to everything. So all you need is power on one of the power outlets on any of the helicopter and the entire thing will turn on. So I'm gonna use the positive on this little LED light that's on the helicopter and touch it to the power on the battery. And since all the ground is connected to everything, it will turn on the helicopter. So let's watch right here. See, it? there you go. The entire helicopter is turned on. I can just turn on the remote controller and fly it away. So that's it on how to solder. I found this great book on called The Big Book of Hacks by Popular Science. It has lots of cool projects in it. It shows you how much they would cost, what materials you need, how much time, and also has great tips on how to solder. So if you have any questions or comments, please do that below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible or until the next episode comes out. My Instagram is KDOJ. Please follow. It is a private account, but I will try to accept you as soon as possible. Uh, please subscribe, and that's it. Thank you for watching.